welcome back to my channel. So for this video, as you can tell by the title, we are going from an ugly mess to a more presentable mess. Um, no, basically, I posted this picture on Instagram and I had so many of you guys requesting that I film a tutorial and just a video based on this look. And it's super simple, super easy to do. Literally anyone can do it at home. And obviously, smoky eyes as well are quite hard. I feel like they're quite a hard um, eyeshadow look to like put together and think about how you're gonna blend it and things like that. I feel like they're one of the trickiest eyeshadow looks to do. However, this one is super simple, super easy. Literally four eyeshadows and yeah, you guys asked for it. So that's why I'm bringing it to you guys. But if you're new here, then make sure you do subscribe. The button is just down below and also don't forget to turn on the bell to be notified every single time that I upload a new video. And without further ado, if you want to see how I did the makeup look that was on my Instagram, then just keep on watching. Okay, so I've already started with my eyebrows on, like I always do. Because you guys know by now, I literally cannot do my eyebrows on camera. It just goes so wrong. And I need to be sat down properly with a proper mirror and all that fun stuff. But what I used on my eyebrows was the Anastasia Dip Brow Pomade in the shade Soft Brown. And then I used the Benefit 24 Hour Brow Setter to set my eyes. I also did already prime my face using the Too Faced Hangover Primer which I've been absolutely loving again recently. Now we're going to move on to the eyeshadow which is obviously the main feature of the look and the thing that you guys all really wanted to see do because I mean you've seen me do my face god knows how many times uh, but this specific eye look I've never actually really done before. The reason I did it was actually for a shoot um, so yeah really exciting and I'm glad you guys really liked it as well. Got a lot of compliments on my eyes when I posted it um, as the colours obviously really like matched with my eyes and it kind of like brought out the colour a little bit more. But to start with I'm actually gonna zoom you guys in so you can fully see what is going on as at the moment we're a little bit far away so why don't you come on in hello um yeah so this is a lot closer so you can see what is going on and hopefully i don't put my mirror in front of my face so apologies if i do because i've got such a bad habit of doing that because i just i forget and like i'm up in my grill and then i realize you guys actually can't see what i'm doing but to start off with i'm going to take the p louise eyeshadow base mine is in the shade 0 0.5 so i just put a little bit on the back of my hand and i'm just taking a morphe m224 brush and then what I'm going to do is I'm going to carve out my eyebrows. There we go. So now that that is all blended in, we are now going to move on to the eyeshadow. And I just want to say as well, obviously you don't have to use every single product that I've used in this video. This is just what I use when I created the look. So if you've got different products that you want to use, it will still work. And same with like the eyeshadows. If you don't have this palette, if you've got colours that are similar, it will still work. But now I'm going to go in with eyeshadow, like I just said. And for the eyeshadow, I'm using the Huda Beauty Rose Gold palette, which looks like this. Um, this is the first palette obviously that she brought out I think um, and literally the colours that we're going to use in this palette is this one here then we're going to take this one and then we're going to take a mixture of these two colours here so it's literally four colours um, that we're using for this eyeshadow look and it's honestly so simple it might not seem like it's simple but it honestly is um, I think a lot of the time when people think of a smoky eye they think of black eyeshadow um, and that's not always the case that I've not used black in this look whatsoever. So the first shade we're going to take is um, sandalwood which is this light brown here um, and I'm literally just going to dip into that and then I'm going to apply it into my crease so I'm literally just going to pat it in there and then just gently rub side to side. And don't worry if you get it on your lid either because obviously we're going to be putting the glitter um, shimmery shades over the top anyway um, and they are quite a lot darker than um, this transition shade that we're using. You don't actually want to like apply loads of product, you want to go a little bit by little bit, that way you can control um, the pigment and like the colour um, payoff and things like that. Um, so start off with a little bit and then gradually work your way up. Um, I think that's the best technique to do with a smoky eye. Because um, once you put too much product on, there's no taking it off. But you can always add more. I'm just going to do the same to the other eye. 
also just going to start blending that up just a little bit um, because obviously we do want to take this colour up but we want to concentrate the pigment in the crease um, but this is just going to help to smoke it out a little bit now I just dipped back into the sandalwood and I'm going to go back in to the middle bit of my crease like the centre of my crease and I'm just going to start working that colour in and making it a little bit darker And again, I'm just using a little bit of product each time because then that's really going to help with the control of the pigment. Now that that is blending, we're still sticking with the same colour, but we're going to start to darken the outer third and the inner third of the eye. So I'm just going to pack this colour on here like so. So this is where you want a lot of intensity. So again, I'm still using a little bit of product, but I'm just really packing that in. Give that a little circle and then join it to the crease like we did earlier. Now I'm going in to my inner corner. So now taking a round blending brush, we're gonna go in with the shade Coco, which is this one here um, so it's a bit of a darker shade and we're going to pack this onto the outer third and obviously the inner third and this is what's going to create the like depth and make it a little bit more smoky so remember a little bit of product goes a long way um, and you just really want to concentrate this on the outer third like so first and as you can see that colour is really really pigmented so now I'm just going to go to the other side just with what's left on the brush And then I'm gently just going to start blending that. Now I'm going to go on my inner corner as well. Now I'm going to go back in with the flat top shader brush which we use with the shade Sandalwood and I'm just going to blend this out, make it a little bit more like blended and not as patchy and it's just going to help snug out a little bit as well and blend it all together and obviously you can dip back in to that shade um, to intensify the colour. So that is all the blending and the smokiness done, but now we're going to go in with the shimmery shades. So I'm going to go in with the shade Blessed first, which is like this gold colour, and then I'm going to go over the top with the shade Dubai, which is a khaki colour. There we go, and then I'm just going to do the same on the other side. Now I'm going to go in with the shade Dubai and just go over top that. I'm also just going to go back in with the shade Coco just to darken up the outer edges as they're not quite as dark as I want them to be. And there we go, that is the eyes finished. So this is what they look like. Obviously when you've got lashes on and we've smoked out the bottom lash line, it will obviously all come together a little bit more. Okay, so I am back, I've put my lashes on. The lashes that I use are the It's Me Lashes by Me by Hayley. Um, and then I also just use the Benefit Roller Lash Mascara, that's what I always use guys know this by now um so now we're gonna move on to the face and like i said earlier i've already primed my face so we're gonna go straight in with foundation so for foundation today i'm gonna go in with the Too faced born this way i'm in the shade light beige and i'm just gonna apply two pumps on the back of my hand and then dot it around my face and blend it in using my beauty blender So 
So now that the foundation is all blended in, we're going to go in with concealer. So today I'm taking a mix of the NARS Radiant Creamy Concealer in the shade Custard and the Tarte Shape Tape in the shade Fair Neutral. I'm just going to take this under my eyes and around the areas that I do want to highlight. And then I'm going to go in with a little bit of the Tarte Shape Tape just to further brighten areas and now I'm just gonna blend that out using my beauty blender as always So now that the concealer is all blended, I'm going to go in with my Chanel Soleil Tan, the Chanel, and I'm going to bronze up my face and also contour. Um, like I've mentioned in previous videos, this is literally my new favourite thing again, um, and it makes everything so easy. So you can use any green contour that you want to use, um, or you can even just skip this step and go straight on to powdering and just obviously use powder, um, bronzer, everything. But I just really like the way that this looks, and it gives like a really nice sheen um, underneath as well. And uh, like I say, it does just make it a little bit easier. And I've just found that the like my bronzer and stuff is just applied a lot easier when I've had this underneath is kind of like a little base um but yeah i'm just applying this on my cheeks um obviously down my nose now i'm just going to take my beauty blender and i'm just going to lightly bounce over some of the areas just to further blend it all together and now i'm also going to just quickly bounce back under my eyes and make sure that there's no crease in there as now we're going to move on to powder so to set my under eyes i'm taking the charlotte tilbury flawless airbrush finish powder i think i might have said that the wrong way around um but i'm just gonna dust under my eyes and well not dust i'm just gonna pat that into place like so make sure it's nice and set and then i'm also gonna go in with this powder in all the places that I highlighted and then underneath the cream contour. And then to set the other areas of my face, I'm going in with the Benefit Hello Happy um, foundation powder and I'm just going around the areas that I like bronzed. Now for bronzer, obviously I'm going in with the Benefit Hula bronzer and just swirling that around with my big fluffy brush and I'm just gonna apply that on my cheeks and obviously all the areas that we cream contoured and literally this step goes by so quick because I've already got the bronzer just underneath and I'm just slightly going over it like so just also go a little bit around my chin there we go now I'm gonna go in with highlights obviously I'm gonna go in with my Jouer highlighter in the shade skinny dip I've literally not put this down since obviously I got a new one you guys know I absolutely love this one um, and I'm just gonna highlight this highlighter is so pretty like I can literally never get over how pretty this highlighter is and today I'm actually gonna go in with a little bit of blush as obviously we've got quite a lot of going on in the eyes it's nice to bring a little bit of color into the look so I'm gonna take the Benefit California blush which just looks like this and I'm just gonna lightly dab this on the apples on my cheeks we don't want a lot of colour, but just a little bit to tie the look together. Then I'm just literally going to dust back over with my bronzer brush just to blend that back together uh, so it's not really bright, but I do just want a little bit of colour there um, so that the look isn't really dark and plain. And now we're going to quickly go back to the eyes before finishing off with the lips. Um, obviously we need to smoke out the under eyes and also I'm just going to do a little bit of light blending above as some of the um, base is just a little bit too bright for my liking. So I'm just going to go back in with um, this little shader brush here and a little bit of the shade Sandalwood. And I'm just going to obviously, like I say, smoke out the lower lash line. And then to complete the eyes and make it really that little bit more smoky, I'm going to go in with a pencil liner. And I'm just going to line my waterline. So this is just a black one from Rimmel. This does actually have a little bit of shimmer in it. It would be better if it was plain black, but you can't really 
tell when it's on. And then just gonna go a little bit back in with that same brush just to further smoke this lower lash line out where some of the pencil line up might have dropped onto the lid a little bit more. And then I'm just gonna apply some mascara to my bottom lashes and then gonna move on to lipstick. And the lipstick I'm gonna use is as always the Jeffree Star Liquid Lipstick in the shade Celebrity Skin. And I'm actually gonna go over top with um, a little bit of the Kiko lip gloss in the shade 05. Um, so I'm just quickly gonna do that. And then finally to really finish the look, I'm gonna go in with the Too Faced Hangover 3 in 1 Replenishing Primer and Setting Spray. It's obviously we use it to set the face. Uh, so I'm just gonna give this a little shake and then I'm just gonna spritz my face all over and then we shall be done. So that is the finished look and I really hope you did enjoy this video. If you did, as always, remember to please give it a huge thumbs up down below and subscribe if you want to see more videos from me. Also, don't forget to follow me on Instagram. You know, this is where you get to see more of the looks that I create and I don't actually film. And obviously, you guys can comment on my pictures all the time. Let me know if you do want to see a makeup look that I might post on there. So, yeah, definitely follow me on there. I also have Twitter and I also have Snapchat as well. It's always linked down below and it's also on the end card on every video. Uh, but, yeah, like I said, that's everything. So, I will actually leave you now and I'll stop saying that this is everything. And I will see you soon with another video. Bye.